Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Cancer. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of October. Keep in mind that all of these monthly readings can go vice versa. So if you cross watch, you know, that one might be for you as well. So let's just see what comes up. So what do we have for Cancer for the month of October? Let's start right here. What do we have for Cancer for October? Somebody may be expressing their feelings. You may be the other person. I, I saw the Page of Cups. So I think that there's going to be an expression, you know, of feelings. Feelings are going to be, you know, uh, put on the table, per se. Showing feelings. Happy news. Follow your heart. Transformation. So this is a time of transformation. Now, now we know that that transformation, it, it, it rep, you know, it represents the death card in the tra in the traditional tarot. Um, tra uh, transformation is a profound change within yourself. So you know you are becoming more beautiful than you than than you've ever been before. Okay, so uh, this is a time of change. It may be a little uncomfortable because. Uh, change is, is difficult. So I think that whatever is happening um, is very beautiful. I think it's a very beautiful transformation that you're going through. Uh, things are about to change and I think it's in a positive way because transformation is positive. Although it's not going to be easy because you have to shed some old skin. You have to shed something to become that higher vibration so you're going to be going through a period of change and uh, it's probably going to be uncomfortable so just just go with it don't fight it because in the end you are going to be uh, absolutely glowing so just keep going the same direction that you you're obviously headed in the right direction you've been going through that period of of, you know the caterpillar stage right you've been going through that stage of growth now you've reached the point of uh, well you think about a butterfly where you spread those wings and you fly and you soar and you know everybody can see all the hard work that you've done so uh, get prepared to be recognized okay because I think that you're going to be recognized I mean, the beauty is very clear. It's clear to everybody. Everybody is going to see the change in you. It's clear. So what do we have for Cancer? One card, please. Justice. So you're also getting what you deserve. Justice is a card of getting exactly what you deserve. Now this is the laws of karma and everything turning out as it should. Balance is going to be coming back to your life. Like I said before, it's not going to be easy. Looks like things haven't been easy. You may have been arguing with somebody. There may have been some disagreements and you may have been, you know, in some sort of... Uh, it could have been a clash or a crash or something like that that caused some sort of uproar. But I feel like uh, you're going to come out on top. I think that everything is going to go in your favor. If you are dealing with any legal issues this month, it's, it's going to go out, go in your favor. Okay? You just need to be honest and upfront and you will win. My advice is to be honest and you win. One more card, please. Oh, well. Feeling tied down or frustrated. Yoke. Wheel. Indecisive, uh, indecisiveness. Allowing your life 
to ramble aimlessly. Marriage. So this has to do with a, a partnership of some sort. You need to make a decision about marriage, about stability, about what you want. It's a time to bring balance. You, and this is about making a decision. Make sure you're being honest with yourself at this time. You can't, you can't, I feel like you're, you're fearful. This is feeling tied down. You may be fearful of commitment, fearful of marriage, you know, and that's why things are, ra are rambling aimlessly. You know, you need to make a decision based on your future, based on, you know, what you have right in front of you. It feels like you have an opportunity in front of you, but you have to decide to commit to it, you know. Um, and being tied down is probably scary. So I think that you are going through a big change in your life and making a final decision, you know, is, <laughs> you know, hopefully you don't make the wrong one. And I think that's where you're at. So this is definitely a, a time of change for you in which you have an opportunity to uh, show what you have to offer by the looks of things. I, I think that you have a lot to offer. I do. Um, moon. Now you are ruled by the moon. You are ruled. And this is fear. I think that you are fearful. Um, I think that you are scared. I think that there are hidden forces here. I think that you are being pulled towards something that you are meant to be with. But you're resisting it. I feel like you are resisting it. Um, mm -hmm. A star. Reversed. Two of swords. Now this is blocked emotions. You need to open yourself up. Let go of the fear. Let go of the fear. You may have a chance to renew something with somebody. You may even have a chance for a reconciliation. But there's a lot. There's a there's there's a, a test of faith here. The fear has taken over. You need to open up, unblock your emotions, unblock your heart, let them in. Let this person in. Let go of your fears. Okay, I feel like you're extremely fearful. You're trying to protect yourself. You know, I think that you have blossomed and you're scared. You are really, really scared. I feel like uh, we just had a couple cards fall out. These two. Commitment. Fear. Fear of commitment. Fear of commitment. This is definitely about marriage. It's about long-term commitment. It's about happiness. I think that you are trying to protect yourself. You have an opportunity to break free from your own thoughts. Your own thoughts are getting in the way of happiness, Cancer. Let go of your fears. I think that you have somebody here that is waiting for you to open up. They're waiting for you to commit fully. Um, now, this could go vice versa. You could be dealing with somebody that is extremely fearful of commitment. But there is some sort of pull. This is like, why? 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 Why is this happening right now? This is happening right now. I feel like it's because it's meant to happen. I feel like it's meant to happen. It's time. It's time. It's time for you to blossom. It's time for you to soar. It's time for you to be. It's, it's time for this new life. I feel like you are, I mean, some of you could get engaged. You may be engaged. There's an opportunity to get engaged. There's an opportunity to get in a commitment here. But somebody has to step out of their fears. That's what these two fell out as well. Unbelievable. Justice and death. And didn't I mention, oh, look at that. Holy shit. Oh, I mean, I said this is death. Look at that. And it's basically the same thing. It really, it is. I can't, I mean, both of you, whoever you are dealing with is probably your soulmate. You, I think that you have a soulmate here. I mean, take a look at that. That's unbelievable. That is unbelievable. It is. I can't even, I, this is unbelievable. So you have an opportunity for a new beginning here with somebody that you are probably meant to be with. This is somebody that you have been pulled towards. That I feel like this is... Um, you have to make a decision. You have to make a decision to end something. It has to do with your fears. 
you have it's time to bring balance to your life there's an opportunity for balance there's an opportunity to get what you deserve this is a partnership that you deserve this is somebody that will be able to it's like they complete you um, but there's something that needs to end first because death and transformation is about an ending there's one thing that needs to be shed this is definitely a profound change with endings there are new beginnings so there is a letting go so that you can find balance so that you can get what you can deserve what you do deserve and you may be feeling like this isn't what you asked for but it is what you asked for I feel like there's some sort of unblocking you need to unblock maybe you blocked somebody and there's an unblocking here and opening up and expressing feelings I think that you are being pulled towards somebody, but you're going to have to get let go of your fears or they are. Somebody's fear, very, very fearful of commitment. I feel like there's definitely a separation and a loss that leads to a new beginning. It is. This is a brand new life for you. We have Pisces. We have Libra. We have Aquarius. We have Scorpio. I feel like there's an ending. It could be with a Scorpio. It could be with a Libra. I think that you need to have faith in new beginnings. You need to have faith that everything happens for a reason. Something is, is about to be shown to you. Okay, something that has been below the surface is about to be shown to you. This is going to uh, give you some sort of clarity. I think you've been trying to avoid, you've been trying to avoid, I don't know, maybe the truth. This is avoiding the truth about your feelings. There's intense feelings here for somebody that you may have been ignoring because of fear of commitment or vice versa. But there is an opportunity here for a new beginning. But you got to be honest and you got to be up front and, and it's time. It really is time. I think this is somebody that you have yeah, you've been with before. There's going to be communication going back and forth. I think that you are ready. I think that they are ready too. I do. I feel like it's it's definitely very positive. I feel like uh, you should get prepared. You should get prepared to start a new life. I think you're going to be pulled. You're going to be pulled. Things are going to happen really, really, really fast. Things are going to move forward fast. Somebody may even feel guilty for not taking action sooner. You could eat. Somebody may be apologizing. There could be an apology one way or the other. Somebody is about to be honest about their feelings by the looks of things. It's like all of it. It feels like suddenly somebody starts to see. You know, they start to see somebody's, you know, side of the side of the story or something like that. They start to realize. Oh, it is definitely sudden. I knew that it was. There's a there's a sudden desire to do the right thing and act with integrity and and communicate you're going to be receiving there's going to be communication going back and forth whether you're the one that com that is communicating or they are i think there's a chance for uh something exciting to start this is an exciting new opportunity to start fresh to start over you definitely have a new beginning here this is very very exciting there's going to be things happening and once it starts it's going to it's going to take right off it's going to take off fast once the communication starts things start somebody there could be an, uh, an apology as well knight of swords reverse knight of swords reverse that is 
some of you that we got somebody here that is very fearful in no hurry definitely fearful fearful of commitment somebody is very extremely fearful of commitment Fearful of confrontation. But thinking about the past. This is definitely somebody that you know. That you have made some sort of memories with. Could be Gemini. Libra. Aquarius. Could be anybody. But I feel as though there's an opportunity with somebody that you have. It's a soulmate connection. There's a chance for a reconciliation here. Somebody may be coming back around and apologizing. And things could take off very, very, very fast. Everything is going to turn out in your favor. Somebody is going to be expressing their feelings. Apologizing. This is an opportunity to start fresh. So you're going to be communicating with somebody that wants to do the right thing, that has made a decision and has seen the truth now, has come to some sort of realization. They've changed. Somebody has changed. They've changed. Whether you have changed, they some maybe you both have because we had it twice. You both have changed. Now it's time. So I would say that there's been some sort of neglect, there's been some sort of abandonment, some sort of ghosting, and now there's a chance to reconcile. And that is what I got for you, Cancer. This is somebody that is from your past that you have known before. If, if this is somebody brand spanking new, you are going to feel very familiar with this person. This is a new beginning. It's very exciting. My advice is to just go for it. This person is going to be honest. They are going to be up front. They are going to be telling you the truth. They are very interested in getting together with you. But and, and I think that both of you are fearful though. You have to replace that fear with faith. This is if if you don't know who this person is yet, they are about to come out of the woodwork, put it that way. Somebody's been hiding their feelings. And I feel like it can't, the feelings just can't be hidden anymore. I feel as though you're going to want to proceed with caution. And yeah, you probably should proceed with caution. But I think that once you get engaged with this person, you aren't going to be able, it's going to be very passionate. There's going to, there's a lot of passion here. So I feel like this month is definitely a month. It's a very beautiful month. You're about to uh, get the recognition that you deserve. Good luck.